schools they're telling us lies and then if you then you know you go down and down and then you start realizing man there it's it's all it's built baloney. On lies, yeah, but then everything. you go deeper and you realize that this is an illusion and then you go into the science of this and you realize that each of us are independent and if we understand that the science is there and that the opportunity for incredible change is here with us right now is that we can we can turn this planet from a holographic reality into an organic life and i'm sure you saw the movie avatar right oh, yeah. Yeah. the classic analogy between the old paradigm of the corporate wanting to mine and and kill and destroy anybody who got in his way for do and, and i love money i love you know i i go after money just like but not at the expense of other people mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to a native population who's in connection with the earth and and I'm sh I've seen the movie 15 times, and I'm sure you've seen it many times too. And it is such a great analogy between the levels of consciousness. between Because the guys who are on the planet digging away, they, they thought they were doing the right thing. They, you know, those people out there, they're green and they're terrible. You got an unobtainium to get. You know, yeah, we've got, we've, got, we've got to make some money here. Mm. And in their minds, they, they were doing the right thing. And the people out there, they were the bad. But, you know, if, you, if we step back and realize we're here not just to make money. we're here to enjoy life is to be on our planet is to grow is to connect and one of the greatest ways of of growing in happiness is to be aware of our connection with the divine mother with with the earth with the cosmos whatever you one wants to call god or, or the divine, you know, and without going into all that. Mm -hmm. But it's so much more fun. Yeah. It's so much more fun. It's so much more fun than just, you know, grinding away and saying, oh, I'm going to vote for this party as opposed to this party, and they're bad, and these people are evil, and, you know, these... And spending energy doing that, keeping, yeah. propping up that paradigm. Yeah, and Keep you know what? And all these people who are are quote slave masters they're actually doing us a, a service because they're creating a polarity for us to to play the game to repel off of. to repel to, yeah. to to see and so you know the people like the rothschilds and and and, and the rockefellers or the morgans you know more po you know not more power to them but god you know love them you know because they're going to wake up too you know, the only one i have real it might be the last second before they fall <laughs> the off the only surf. person i have real trouble with is dick cheney yeah <laughs> Well, he's got a fake heart at this yeah, point. He's, he's bionic. Got, he's, you know, he's, he's working Dick, his way to cyber. And you're a pretty wild guy, too. So, yeah. you know, he's, he's a great opponent. He's not a, a good shot, though. He's a, he's a terrible he's, shot. He's trying to I know the way. guy he shot. Oh, you know? Yeah. 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 And, and, I guess he was giving him bad advice and, at the time. And who was, who was the boy who gave uh, George Bush all of his political information, the brains behind George Bush? Who did all the the political analysis? Oh God! That's Starts with an R. Um, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. He comes into my coffee shop all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he, he, I just like, I just look at him. I just smile. And I say, I love you, brother. You know. Oh, wow. And he and he knows I'm looking at him. And he's it's just, not turd blossom, is no, it? No, it's not turd, okay. turd blossom. But you know. <laughs> yeah, no, he he lurks around Austin. Every yeah, and it's like. You know, these people they really believe this stuff, yeah. and they get off to it. Oh yeah. It's, but you know what? Stay away from Psychic those. vampire. They're, They're psychic. literally stealing your energy. And we just had a series of articles come out where they were saying, you take younger blood and it can regenerate you. They're doing tests It's called rats stem cells. Yeah, well, no, they're doing it with blood. Well, they're taking blood and transferring it with rats. They're taking young rats with old rats and doing blood transfusions, and the old rats become younger. They're able to remember things. They're Absolutely. To, and so the, the whole sign, you go back to Dracula, drinking blood, and you know what they say the royals do now, nowadays is drinking young babies' blood. Well, now there's a science behind it that, yeah, it does, it does work at least to them. But what kind of what kind of world are you creating when you do that, friends? What he's talking about sounds really, really wild. Go check it out yourself. But if you say. if you if you know anything about the Merov the the word Merovingian was an ancient it was a word which was supposed to be the family of the children of Jesus and Mary mm -hmm. Magdalene. Right. And the original Merovingian were, lived in Lourdes, France, and even the Catholic Church recognized that the one they called Jesus, and of course his name was not Jesus, it was Yeshua ben Joseph. Mm -hmm. It always blows me away that all these churches call 
and by Jesus, which is a Greek name. I love the one called Jesus. The one called Yeshua ben Joseph was, the, was so cool. And I know that he had two children with Mary Magdalene, maybe three children, and that was the start of the Merovingian. And they were a very pure race. And Dan Brown has written about this and many, many others. But that's why the noble families of Europe have paid so much attention to the bloodlines. Blood yeah. But then as time went by, then that all became weird. And some of those Merovingians became the black nobility, and they started doing weird stuff like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, bathing in blood, oh, drinking God. blood, it's, it's, and it's always young people and babies is what they go after. Yeah. Young women, it, virgins. It, yeah, I mean, and that's and without going too deep because this stuff can be pretty weird. But friends, when you go down the rabbit hole. Anything you can think about has happened, but the most important thing is to be aware of it right. and then to have a much more beautiful life because if you do believe in, in the Creator, if you do, life is eternal. There is ultimate prosperity. There is ultimate life. There is ultimate joy. There is ultimate and infinite life and love and joy for all of us as long as we, as long as we play by the rules as long as we have love in our hearts, as long as we take care of ourselves and have responsibility. And it's much more fun to go down that road than the road is that 99% of the people in America are going down. And a lot of it really is flipping the switch from saying the glass is half uh, empty yes. to saying it's half full. Yes. You know, that's a lot of it. You just switch, you know, sometimes it takes... Uh, you know, a, a beer or two to change that perception, or sometimes it takes not drinking a beer or two to change that perception. But well, just, sometimes it takes uh, smoking that stuff that's legal in Colorado. In, in some countries and not in other, or in some states <laughs> and not in others, yeah. You know, it just it just takes a little bit of just, just changing it just, just a, little a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, and then you, you realize, oh, wow, I don't have to get mad at my kids when they break something or spill. I can show them how to fix it. I can show them how to clean it up instead of freaking out on them. Because, you know, dealing with kids, I have three kids. It they will test your patience. Yeah. Very much. I mean, kids, I, I've, I've raised two kids and, you know, thank God, you know, they're wonderful, but it's it's a great learning experience. It is. But just remember, you wonder why your parents are You're not a you. victim. You're not a victim unless <laughs> no. you choose it. Exactly. And, 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 and we can create any kind of life that we want. Now, for a lot of people, they say, oh, that's not possible. But if you really go back, step back, if you're not if you're not in a good relationship, well, either change it or get out of it. Mm -hmm. If you're not healthy, take the steps to get healthy. If you're not aware of these things, have the choice to become aware. If you have toxic people around you, change your friends. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great people out there, and 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 this show is a very very major step in that process because. Not only do you talk about the politics and the economics, but you talk. You have great products like Inner Food mm -hmm. that help people become healthier. Yeah. You, you you have other products that are so good. The X2, the new iodine. I mean, you you taste just a drop of that, and you can actually, you know, you put some foods in your mouth, and you taste like oh, you, they got energy. You in them. You, you feel absolutely it know it's chi. You, yeah. you know, when I'm in in Southeast Asia, I study ancient Taoism, which is all about energy. Mm -hmm. It's all about energy. And there's different ways of looking at life that are, you know, again, make life more fun. And that's why we're here is to be joyful. Yeah. We're here to we're be, here to be hobbits. We're here to be hobbits. What yeah. do hobbits do? They grew food, they smoked their pipes, and they had a good time. Yeah. And then they raised more kids and they did it. And then they, you know, and then one of them grew up and, and destroyed evil. Is how it yeah. actually happened. But hey, George, it was great for coming. Thank you for coming okay. to the studio. It was awesome to have you here. And, and I, I hope people can take this story here of, of what we were just talking about and do your own research. And, and my intention for this video is that, you know, they get millions and millions of views, go out and to live in the internet forever, and people start finding their own ways that they can change their life around them, whether it's positive or negative. If it's positive, make it more positive. If it's negative, start turning that wheel. Stop living in the same old prescribed reality that they tell you you have to live in, that they've been telling you since you've been born. So it is hard to break out of it. It's not going to be an easy journey, but you have to start looking at your own, um, just use your own senses, and you'll know what's right and what's wrong. It's easy to do. And with that, that'll be the end of our show tonight, not our program. 
And we hope you join us next time, 7 p.m. Central. It's the InfoWars Nightly News. Remember, if you want to become a member, you can go to prisonplanet.tv and you can use your username and password. You can share it with up to 11 people. That's synergy right there. You can you could be a cog and helping 11, 10 other people, 10 of your friends help wake them up. And then they will wake up other people in turns. And it'll be a beautiful uh, blossoming of truth and forgiveness and freedom and, and happiness and fun. And that, at the end, that's all you're going to have is, is the memories that you, uh, that you make. And with that, I'll bid you good night.